Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make 3D title cards for your music videos and After Effects. There's so much sauce in this video, so make sure you guys stay to the very end because I'm going to be teaching you guys everything that I know. Now, before we hop into this video, I have to let you guys know about my brand new plugin coming up for Premiere Pro called Fast Effects. It allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, CRT transitions, thermal transitions, and a ton more effects inside of your timeline instantly in just a few clicks. Everything inside of this is fully customizable. I highly recommend going to the description below and joining the waitlist for the plugin. You guys will have early access to the plugin, exclusive discounts, the ability to possibly beta test, and you'll be entered into a free giveaway to get the plugin for free possibly. The waitlist is down below. I highly recommend you guys go join it. There's a bunch of benefits, but let's hop right back into the video. So opened up inside of After Effects here, we have this Molly Santana music video here. I thought this would be the perfect sequence to create a title card in. So what we're gonna do to get started is we're gonna right click, we're gonna go over to new, and we're gonna create new text. Now we're gonna make this say uh, Molly, and we'll just do this for now, and then we'll add the Santana afterwards. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click, go over to new, and we're gonna create a new solid here. Now we're gonna be using Element 3D to create this. If you guys don't have Element 3D, I highly recommend it. It's definitely one of the best plugins in After Effects. So I'm just gonna name this Element 3D. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to effects, and we're gonna search up element inside of here, and we're just gonna drag and drop it onto the solid. And now that element's on the solid, all we have to do now is go into custom layers, open up custom text and masks and under path layer one we're going to change it from none to the text that says molly here so essentially what we're doing is we're taking this text layer right here and we're attaching it to the element 3d inside of here now what i recommend you guys do as well is open up the custom texture maps now that you're here and you're going to go under layer one you're going to hit none and then you're going to hit the video so what this is telling the system is that you want inside of the scene setup you want the text to appear and then under custom texture maps here, you're going to be using the video as a custom texture to go on top of the text. So it's kind of going to blend the scene a lot better. So now we're going to go and open up scene setup. And if you're wondering, where's my text? All you have to do is go up here and hit extrude and it's going to show up just like that. So what we want to do next is if we go down and open this up and click on bevel one, you can then play with the extrusion. So if I move this up, we could see we can make it longer if we want play with the bevel size we want to make it thicker let's say we like this here we're gonna go down to our presets and under materials we'll have 22 inside of physical but there's expansion packs you can add and get more so i'm gonna go ahead and double click to put chrome on there and now that chrome is on here what we could do now is go and click on chrome scroll down and then like we did earlier we're gonna click on the environment under none set we're gonna hit this arrow here and then that custom texture that we applied earlier is gonna be right here so we're gonna hit okay and you guys can see instantly it matches the scene a lot more so what we can do now is go and hit OK. You guys can see our 3D text is now inside of here and it looks so clean. Now to animate this 3D text, what we're going to do is we're going to close the custom layers inside of here. And now we're going to open up group one. We're going to open up particle look and particle replicator here. Now the way that this works is if we open up rotation here, we can then play with the rotation of the text, all of these ones here, just by clicking and dragging. Now my favorite thing to do is under particle look, you want to open multi object here and enable multi object. And once you do that, you'll have a bunch of options here. So we're going to see the rotation random multi right here. All we're going to do is click and drag and you guys can see just like that. Each individual letter is going to move on its own. And that's a super sick one to have in your arsenal. So what we can do is we can keyframe this rotation random at the very beginning here. And we can go to the end. And at the beginning, we can set it to something like uh, 30 here. And then we can go to the end and set it to something like negative 30. So it's going to go from rotated just like this. That looks pretty good there, guys. Another thing that I recommend doing inside of here, which is just complete sauce, is if you open up the render settings here at the bottom, there's a bunch of different stuff that we can control. So if we open up shadows here and we enable them, under shadow mode, I recommend changing it to ray traced. And then under ambient occlusion as well, we're going to enable that and we're going to change that to ray trace as well. We're going to get a lot more thicker shadows here that looks way better. And then as well, if you open up lighting here, under add lighting, if you turn off use comp lights, we can then play with all the lighting inside of here. It's not as intense for this one, but if you didn't have the environment set, you could definitely play around with that a lot more. Now, I think my favorite one to play with is definitely motion blur here. Make sure you go and change that on. And then my favorite one by far is the physical environment here. If we go ahead and turn on rotate environment, what we could do is keyframe all of these and then go to the end. And if we move it around, just like random like this, we can get a super sick look. 
just gonna let this render through. We get a lot more movement on the text there, and it looks just super tired. Now, I usually like to keep it super simple like that. You can do some really cool transitions and stuff, but I'll save those for a later video, as I don't really like them as much, to be honest with you. Now, if we go up into the position Z and we keyframe it at the beginning and then go to the end, we can then move it further back here to zoom it in, and we'll get this nice zoom in effect. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the comp from full to quarter just so we can have this play a lot faster. So we'll get that zoom in effect there. And now what I'll do to finalize everything is I'll throw on a glow. It's up to you on what glows you wanna use. I do like sapphire glow or deep glow is good as well. Just wanna go ahead and throw that on. And this definitely needs to be turned down a lot. So if we go ahead and turn down element there, you can turn deep glows radius to 100. You can turn the exposure down and then turn this down as well. And we'll get the before and after there. If you don't like it, you can keep it off. I actually don't like it in this case, to be honest with you. I like the clean metallic look of this. And then a must have to put on is RSMB Pro. That's just gonna smooth everything out and make it look super clean with the animations. So yeah, that is my favorite way to add 3D text in After Effects. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And down below, I'll have my Fast Effects waitlist for my brand new plugin that's coming out for Premiere Pro. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and join it. It is completely free and the benefits are worth it for sure. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.